Tom here, G'day Champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Secret Vendor Reset, the greatest on the interweb. Righto Champs, so Cassie has restocked and reopened for the week, and she's currently located here in Federal Triangle, just below the Theatre Settlement. To unlock her on your own map, you first gotta find the Snitch. It's pretty bloody easy. If you still don't know where to look to find the Snitch, check the description below for the link to my Snitch location video. Also, I found the snitch right next to her this week. He's over there in the corner and Cassie's over here in this room. So try it or just look in the other usual spots. Simple. Righto, I've done a sneaky little peek and I reckon we've got an item or two that you might fancy. So enough piss farting around, let's get stuck in. Emelina's guard, we've got crit hit chance and damage to armor on it with perfect preservation. It's a nice gun for those full on armor on kill builds, but I just wish it had a few more mod slots to make it a little bit more viable. I'm gonna pass. Fox's prayer knee pads, everyone's favorite piece. 14% weapon damage, 8% multiplicative damage to targets out of cover and nearly max repair skills. I think I'm gonna pick this one up for a DPS healer hybrid. Same as always, killing all your hunters will give you both the Shield Splinterer and the Hunter Killer chess piece each and every week. Check them out, if they're upgrades for you, do the smart thing and upgrade. The chest ain't too shabby this week. It'll need some optimizing on that armor roll though. To the green gear, we've got an ongoing backpack with weapon damage and crit hit damage. Rigger's chest piece, skill tier and repair skills. Boundary Gloves, 127k armor and you'd roll on some crit hit chance or crit hit damage. It's a great piece for my solo legendary build. Hunter's Fury Knee Pads, we've got 12.1 weapon damage and skill damage. Again, roll some crit onto it and it's very usable. Ongoing Directive Holster, we've got weapon damage and crit hit chance. Boundary Mask, 132k armor, roll on crit. How easy is that? You've got two decent pieces for my solo legendary build. MK16 with killer, I'm gonna pass on it. And the Spaz12 with in sync, while this gun does hit really hard, it's got shitty rolls and lacks mod slots. So that means it's a pass. Killer backpack with adrenaline rush. Now this looks pretty all right in my eyes. You could go a few different ways with it, a hazard build or a DPS tank. I'm going to buy this one. DNH holster with weapon damage, headshot damage and repair, pass. And for the mods this week, we've got a 17.4 repair skills and a plus four extra charges for the hive. Pass on both. Up to you champs, that hunter killer chest, killer backpack and those foundry pieces all look pretty all right to me. What tickled your pickle? Like always, if anything looks good to you, head on down and see Cassie, she'll have the same stuff all week. On screen now is today's targeted loot, pause it, check it, farm it. And that's it for me on this one champs, drop a comment below about whatever. Any feedback, build questions, suggestions or ideas, you know I'm easy. Help yourself and the channel, make sure that you've hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload new content. So did you like it? Then smash that like button and if you didn't you can press the dislike but remember to support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one champions, I'm Plum, Plum out.